So, today's should be a fairly quick devlog. I don't necessarily have a lot to show. I've just made a small, quick space for what you will see is actually a space station. Um, there's the space, it's out there. Uh, there's just some things around. And a wood panel-y ceiling with an invisible light. Um, invisible light? There's a light source, but no other thing representing it. Um, so... This is, in theory, some sort of semblance of what I would like the game to start off as. Potentially. You start on somewhere a bit more stationary, and then you make your way out into space. You get a ship, and stuff happens. Um, but more importantly is that you should be able to save that progress. So, if I come back here and go, alright, you've done things on the space station, and now you want to go save. Ooh, got some other save games here. Uh, make a new game. Start. A save game, um, and now let's assume some story has happened, and then you have a ship. So if I go uh, test, test. Uh, there we go. The test is a test location for spawning the ship because I haven't figured out exactly how I want that to work. But uh, yeah, one thing is you can also spawn the whole thing in one go instead of like last time. Uh, there you go. Now you're out into space, and secretly you're on an asteroid base. It's a very small asteroid, it's got crystals. Um, yeah, but now you can just go over to your ship. Again, this would be a very big ship to start with, but it's also one of the only ships I have. So now we're in, now we're in this ship. Uh, yep. Uh, let's make sure everything's okay. Yep, that's all in there. I mean, no shenanigans. Good, good. Um, yeah, so let's get up here. Uh, I think when I spawned this in, none of the things are actually turned on, so i look over here and turn some things on. And I've got it where the button for turning things on also rotates the ship. I should probably figure that out at some point. Um, but, yeah, we can move around. Alright, if we start going forward, turn on cruise control, and we can see we're going, we're moving. This is, this is the first five seconds of gameplay, pretty much. Uh, so that's always good. Okay, so when we're in this view, we can see Star System 1 and other things that we're looking at. It's a little broken. In theory, this should still be the Black Hole Star System, but I have not been there in a long time. Um, anyway, uh, I think we're still in cruise control. Let's turn that off. Yep, yeah, cool, cool. Um, Alright, so now we're over here, and if we look back... Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's actually turn the ship around very slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's a big ship. It's definitely what you want for a starter ship. Um, in theory, there should be a space station somewhere back here. There it is. Alright, great. We are over here. We have left it. Um, did I? What happened? Oh, oh, draw distance. <laughs> Just at the edge of draw distance for near objects. Uh, I'll figure that out at some point. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's save it here. Um, uh, start to... Maybe another one. So now we should be able to go here and go load. Now we're back here. And our flashlight is on. And there is no ship. And there is no ship looking back at us. Although we know it's at the draw distance limit. That's still a thing to figure out. Nothing, nothing there. Great, cool. We should be able to come back here and be like, load. Now we're back here with our light flashlight on, and the draw is still just at the edge. Uh, but these things, you know, the things turn back on. All the all the noises still happen, which is a little bit odd. Come on, come back and do. Just went far enough to get outside of draw distance. Hey, okay. See, there's still things to be worked on, um, but they do still exist. All right, great. That's pretty much all I really had to show. I guess is uh, you can save and load. So yeah, maybe I'll I'll quickly show you uh, the save system. It's very basic. All right, so all this 
the save files are here. We've got some of the old ones we're testing out. But we had start one, start two. If we actually open these up, you can see it actually contains a thumbnail, a header, and some data. So when the game loads it, it just looks for the header file and it shows you the thumbnail, which is not in a very high resolution. Um, text edit, sure. Um, yeah, and there's not much here. There's a timestamp, start, position, head X rotation, um, and then the rest of the data is apparently all in here. But since nothing existed there that was actually a regular game object, um, there's no entities. Um, but if we go to here, show the second one, this thumbnail, uh, still not much more in the header, except otherwise it says who you're parented to, where the player actually is located. Um, another data, again, I'm sure this may be a little bit too small on the screen. Um, there's just a whole list of entities. So we have the box ship, we've got the desks that are in the ship, which are different from the ones that I made on the space station, because I kind of just threw them in. Um, so those two things do exist in two different ways, but anyway, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. There's all these hard points that just have a location associated with them, but then nothing else Nothing else to tell you about that hard point except for one of the hard points, yeah. Only weapon weapons left one has something actually mounted in it and then it actually specifies it's this pulse laser. And then the pulse laser itself has something in the resonator chamber and the energizer coil. I'm a little worried this could end up being a very big file uh, for a game of any size, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, at the moment, you know, being chucking them in the zip file means that this is 25 kilobytes. Um, you probably can't quite see, but yeah, 25 kilobytes. Um, so it's not too bad, certainly at this size, and the thumbnail takes up most of that. Thumbnail is 23 kilobytes, so yeah, so that's where we're at. It definitely needs some more work, uh, but you know, we'll get there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, not, not a whole lot to show, but there was a bunch of work under the hood to make that all work. Um, there's definitely still more things to work out, but it's feeling a little bit more like a solid platform to build more things on top of, which is uh, definitely a good feeling. It can make hopefully more than five seconds of gameplay that you can that you can save now. Um, anyway, see you in the next one.